Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are going to take a look at uh, some other stuff and uh, here we have uh, services that we have to initialize. In this case, we we just have the gap service and the get service. So uh, we are not using any other services. In the services, we actually do all the stuff related to uh, handling the data transmission and all the stuff. But first we need to understand uh, other uh, things that are relevant to the Bluetooth so that uh, we can perform everything efficiently and we can uh, write an efficient code for everything. Right now we will start writing the services. So first of all we need to create a function and in that function we will initialize the query writer module and uh, once we initialize it uh, we will just uh, add a handler for the query writer module and uh, it's enough for the service initialization later on in the next tutorials i will explain what's happening and how we can transfer the data some people were asking like uh, how we can directly transfer the data so for that uh, we need lots of stuff to program before we can actually transfer the data uh, you have to understand uh, many concepts before we can actually implement our stuff. We will also see some of the services uh, that are the standard services uh, from uh, SIG group and uh, we will also see the custom services and uh, there we will see how we can transmit the data. But first we need to understand the basics and then we will understand some advertisement and other stuff. Then we will study about the basics of services and then we will write the custom services. So right now we will just in initialize uh, uh, the code and uh, this would be our step 9. So uh, for this uh, let's put this code just above the step number 8 and uh, let's say step number 12 and it's to initialize it's to initialize the services here uh, let's name our function services in it now first we will create uh, the variable uh, which is going to hold the error code the next thing we need to do here is we have to create a struct and uh, we will pass it uh, the instance so and let's name it as qwr underscore in it and let's just initialize it with instance 0 the next thing we need to do is we have to set an error handler for the query writer for example if an error occurs uh, sometimes our devices connection is lost so an error occurs and it can tell us like uh, the data transmission failed or something happened so there we can handle this type of errors uh, so for that we will create a error handler and uh, that would be our next step so let's say step number 12.1 and here we have uh, to create an error handler for <coughs> Q writer and uh, let's create a handler so for that it will pass us unsigned 32 int error value so here we will use another function for that and this is not app error check but app error handler and here we will just pass this parameter that has been passed by uh, this function error handler if some error occurs the next step is we just have to assign the handler so for that and here we can write its name nrf qwr error handler and make sure you remove the bra braces and it's good to go the last step here would be to initialize the queue writer so to in order to initialize we need to use error code variable we need to use error code variable and now we are going to 
use this function to initialize it so nrf qwr bldqwr qwr in it and in this we will just pass it the instance which is m underscore qwr which we created above and uh, here is the configurations we also have to pass its address so here and qwr underscore in it and in the end we will use our app error check function to make sure everything is good to go and it's finished and uh, that's it for now if you are directly seeing this tutorial please watch my previous tutorials to understand this and uh, if you are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below thank you very much for watching see you in the next video